Hello, and welcome to The Occupation. This is the latest game from our studio, White Paper Games, based in Manchester, UK. Some of you may have seen our announced trailer a few months ago, and we wanted to create a short video to build up on the story and give you a little more information about the kind of game you can expect. All of the footage you're about to see here is from an alpha build of our game. The Occupation is played over a fixed time period of four hours, which means that the decisions you make have a lasting impact. One minute of your time is one minute in the game world, so creating a plan and adjusting to events as they occur is crucial to your success. You play as an investigative journalist in 1987, reporting on an explosion that killed 23 people. Investigations have come to a halt, and it's your job to collect information and decide what happened here and the events leading up to the incident. Combining the various mechanics and systems you have at your disposal, you will uncover multiple approaches to any given situation. You're out of line here, Mr. Miller. Get out of here, right now. Right, I've heard some alarming news. Steve tells me you've been found in a staff-only area. I cannot stress enough, Mr. Miller. I'm sorry, am I keeping you from something? No? Right then. Get out of my sight. I don't have time for insubordination. We've intentionally designed the occupation to be a fixed-length gameplay experience, which you're able to finish in a couple of sittings. We've packed a lot of story and gameplay content into the game, so that everyone can see and experience different playthroughs, much like you would find in classic immersive sim games, such as Thief or Dishonor. It's up to you to figure out these routines and schedules, and use them to your advantage, by either overhearing conversations with other people, or by taking the opportunity to read through their personal items while they're preoccupied. Have you got any plans tonight, Marley? Me? Hey, no, I don't really have me weekends anymore, not like they were. I think I'll be with spotter fishing on my way home. It's the middle of October. As with our previous game, Ether One, a strong narrative arc is at the core of the experience. Ether One explored the impact of the terrible illness of dementia, and thanks to the reception it received from the community, it's allowed us to develop more experiences and create our next game, which we're incredibly fortunate to be able to do. We can't stress enough how thankful we are for the opportunity to be able to create these games on a daily basis. With this game, we focused on issues equally as important to us as a team. More contemporary political concerns, immigration and government surveillance. Much like our previous game, the occupation is developed using Unreal Engine technology. This gives us the tools and ability to push the scope far greater than anything we've done before as a small team of developers. We self-funded the project up until a few months ago with our own money but we knew we needed to do more to be able to push the game out to people. Our game wouldn't have had the chance to grow through the conception stages without the help of the UK Games Fund, as well as our newly formed partnership with the team at Humble. Without these companies, small game development teams like ours wouldn't exist. You can think of the world of the occupation as fully explorable to you from the start. The buildings you can see here are all inspired by architecture, that we see on a daily basis in Manchester. Having an open, non-linear environment to explore allows you to carve your path through each of the environments and prioritize the objectives that you think are most important.
Now that you've learned some more about the game, let's try and tackle a short scenario without getting caught this time. We're currently around halfway into the game. We've broken into a high-risk area and we need to gain access to room 230 to use the disc we previously acquired. Come out if you're in here. to the end of our short gameplay video now, so thank you for taking the time to check out the occupation. What we've shown you is just a small segment of this dense, system-driven world with lots of tactile interaction, and we're excited to show you more soon. If you'd like to stay up to date with the studio, you can follow us on any of the normal social channels you normally use. For those curious about a release date, well, you don't have to wait any longer. We're excited to announce that the occupation will be released. to decide. With immigration at the heart of this debate, and so many opposing the change, is it... Scarlet, what did you do? I understand we didn't see eye to eye, but I never thought you'd go this far. How dare you put this on me? The people need to know that their government is lying to them. People on our doorstep want to hurt us. There's rioting in the streets, for God's sake. Just know I'm going to do anything in my power to stop you. You can't see this right now, but you don't have another choice here. Charles? What the hell have you done?